So you get a stick and stitch um, panel and it's got the full rows and then also half rows. So the half rows can be used um, perhaps at the top of a jacket like this. It could be on the side of a bag. It could be um, put onto a sleeve. It could be around the cuff. There are lots of um, really lovely opportunities for this. It could even go onto something like a basket like this. You could embroider it around the side. Yeah, just your imagination is the only limit for that. Great, so decision made. I'm going to put the patch here. So first of all, I'm going to cut off right to the edge of where the flower is where the printer doesn't get. And then I'm going to lay it onto the fabric and I'm going to stop there at the collar. So yeah, I think I'm just going to stop there because this isn't going to be seen anyway. I'll just trim that off when I get there. Maybe use that somewhere else. Now we are going to stick the patch onto the back. So I'm going to do it over the shoulder. So I folded it along this one smaller petal and this is going to go on the, sh on the actual arm. So it's going to go like that. Let me show you here. So there's the seam. And this is going to go on the back. There we go. So yeah, just a little bit over the sleeve. A sticker. And I'm going to start at the bottom because that's the part that's going to be really seen. These patches are better on lighter fabrics. As you can see, you can still see the design <clears throat> but it's it's not as um, clear because it's printed a grey so that it doesn't um, stain the fabric when you're washing off. You're going close. Now I'm going to get stitching. So at the moment I'm doing only the large edge stitches. So I'm doing those in six strands of embroidery floss. So when you've finished a section and you need to change your thread, go into the back and just go through one of the stitches like so and then put your needle back through the loop before you tighten and as you tighten it's going to form a tiny little knot like that. Because I've finished this section, I'm going to weave my way back through the stitches to where I'm going to carry on stitching, or you can cut off and do another knot to start again. Rather than going across like this, then you get lots of um, loopy bits at the end. With clothes, it's better to be like this if possible. 
There we go, let's get stitching. So when you restart, go into the back of the stitch, pull your thread, leave a tail of about one or two centimeters, hold that under your thumb, and then go back through the loop, just give it a twist, put your nail on that twist, and pull the thread through, and then as you pull, pull tight, and that's created a really secure little knot. If you're, if you want to make doubly sure, <laughs> do it again. So put your needle through, create a loop, put your thumbnail on, pull, and there you go. You've got a really, really secure knot. And then you can trim back the loose threads to about half a centimeter. So we're back. And we've done the bold outline and then we filled in the shading with three strands. So the bold outline is six strands. And now we're going to do the little center of the flower. So you, there are three slashes together. The middle one is longer, so I'm going to do them with you. So the middle one, I do two, three strands. Oh, sorry, six strands. So I go over it again to give it a bit of height. And then I do the two side ones, just a single and shorter stitch. Rustic is the key, so 